Hey guys, we're back. It's supper club tonight. We are going to have some cocktails. We're going to do some appetizers, but most importantly, we're going to have some guests because drinking alone is a little bit sad. So we're going to introduce a very good friend of mine and hopefully a very good friend of yours after tonight. Come on in here, girl. Hey! <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm great, please introduce yourself. Well, I am Mika J. Woods, the entertainer. I am a poet, a producer, and a comedy writer. And I like to cook from time to time, as long as she's helping me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always trying to get me to help. Well, tonight we're gonna help each other. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a drink. After we make this drink, before we drink it all, and it all goes <laughs> terrible, we're going to get to an appetizer. The appetizer goes with the meal that we made yesterday at our Remix Wednesday, and it's going to be a nice little wonton. So, before we get to the food, let's get to the drink. Ready to make this margarita? Yes! Okay, great. So, you know, everybody knows the typical margarita. You got your margarita mix, and you got your tequila, and some lime and all of this kind of stuff. I like to do things a little bit differently. I don't need a lot of accoutrement in my drink or on the glass. I want the drink. Okay, so we have our nice little shaker. And I need you to put some ice in it about halfway, please. Some ice? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous, girl. This is great. I can't even grab the ice. You see me? Look. <laughs> you gotta. All right. I think I'm gonna get you a spoon. I'm gonna get her a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Clearly not good at this. We're just gonna switch that out. Don't judge me. I was never a bartender, nor did I want to be. She was just at the bar. Yeah, I was just at the bar. A lot. Uh, you know, I drink socially. I, I drink on days that end in Y, okay? And that's it. I, not every day, just the days that end in Y. Exactly, like I said, a lot. <laughs> okay, so I like to use the shot glass to measure only because I like the drink to have a nice balance. We might fill it a couple of times, but we're just gonna use it to measure. So we're gonna start, of course, with our alcohol. If you could do one of these. Oh, oh, no, no. no. no? Oh, okay. <laughs> And then a little nip. That's it. That's a little nip. So we have our gold tequila. 1800. Yeah. Nice and strong. And then we're going to add our margarita mix. So we're not making Kool Aid, so we don't want to put too much. But we're going to go in with another shot and a half of the margarita mix. And then this is when it gets a little fun. Malibu, baby. Ooh, yeah. A little rum, a little coconut, a little island gal. You're just gonna go put a whole shot of that in there, you know? You know what? We got company. It's supper club. Supper club. It's after five somewhere. And then we're gonna go lastly with our triple sec. Now triple sec is the lower end of what I would really like to top this off with, but we have to be mindful of cost, of course. And that would be Grand Marnier. This is an orange liqueur. Very, very, very low alcohol content, but the flavor is beautiful, nice, and refreshing. Hit you with a half of a shot of that. Then we're gonna put the top on. 
And let me see you shake it, girl. Shake it. Oh, you meant this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be scared. Shake it. That's right. So this is something that I learned from a very dear friend of mine that actually is a drink expert, but on the coffee side. It is so much better when you shake a drink. Stirring it is a nice way to constitute it, but when you shake it, everything emulsifies so much better. So you really want to give that thing a good shake like this. And then we're going to let that simmer. There's bubbles happening. A little science. Shout out to my cousin, the doctor. And then we're going to get this lid off. Okay. All right. All right. Uh. Maybe because you're taller. It's because she was taller, she was able to do that. You know, she had the leverage up there. It's okay. Short girls matter too. We're going to pour this with the ice right in there. And because you only drink one day that end with the wire, you're gonna get the fuller cup. Okay? And let's just give that a little bit of a that setup, day. right? See? Cheers! Oh, that is good. That's delicious. I'm gonna stop because we still have to make our appetizer. Are you ready for the appetizer? Oh, girl, I came hungry. Well, let's get this drink and let's get in this kitchen. Let's go. We're going to do a chicken wonton. So here are your ingredients. We're going to start with a nice wonton wrap. These are new and improved. They're vegan. This is some sesame oil, low sodium soy sauce. We have to watch how much sodium we're taking in. We have some honey, real honey, chicken stock, lime, ground chicken, finely diced shallots, ground ginger, chopped garlic, and lemongrass. I'm gonna put all this together and make magic. So here we are, we're getting ready to start our wonton, but we're going to have Miss Mika here do all the cooking, I'm just gonna instruct her. So we have a cast iron skillet already hot and ready to go. So Mika, I want you to grab that extra virgin olive oil and pour some of that in the pan. Okay. See, she a pro, she got the swirl and everything. She got it ready to go. And since it's hot, it's already spreading in the pan. It looks really good. And we're going to start with our shallot. So we're going to take that shallot, finely diced, and pour it right in there. Don't be scared. You can use that spatula to scoop out the rest. And you want to make sure that it's nice and finely diced because we're putting it in a small little wonton paper. So you're going to have to make it nice and small. So I'm going to move that around a little bit. Yep. Wait for Chef to say everything. Oh, she oh. said she likes to dibble and dabble and cook it. I think she can handle this. So that's good. We keep that on low because shallots tend to burn very quickly. Next, we're going to grab that garlic. We're going to put half of that garlic in there. Half. Okay. It smells good already. I love the smell of a cooking shallot. I'm gonna ask that you put just a dab more oil so we don't dry out our pan. We want everything to be nice and juicy. That's good. Yep. And now we're gonna take that ground chicken and throw it right in there. Oops. I didn't even need the spatula for that one. Yeah, she got it. She got it. I'm just trying. I'm learning from the best. I've watched uh, your your last video, your remix yesterday. So you know, I was, I was learning your secrets. I was like, okay, so you gotta do that. You gotta do that. I'm gonna be a master chef by season two. She gonna be a master chef. I'm not a master chef, <laughs> but I like to make good tasting food. <laughs> so while she's mixing all of that up, we're gonna get ready to season this meat mixture. So we have some ground ginger. We're gonna put a little Himalayan sea salt and a few cracks of pepper. 
So we're gonna put half of that. Half. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle that in there. And then you're gonna give that sea salt. You just right over it? Yep. How many crabs? A few generous ones. Give me two more. And you're good to go. Okay. Smells great. It does. And then we're gonna do that pepper. Give a few cracks of that. That's my dog Izzy. Hey Izzy! And now we're gonna stir it all up. Make sure you chop up those chunks so we can get it nice and ground up. And for this, you're gonna keep your fire on low. We don't want anything to dry out, overcook, or burn because we have to put it in the wonton and then cook it a little more again. How's it doing? How am I doing over here, Chef? Oh, you're doing great. That looks really, really good. It smells really good. Mm, so excited. I can't even lie. The shallot with the garlic and the ginger. Absolutely. Shallots are my favorite. I do love onions, but I like shallots because they have a sweeter, milder flavor and they don't overpower what you're trying to make. And especially with a quick bite, you don't want everything to be overwhelming. So it gives you a really nice balance. Okay, so we have that mixture looking really, really good. We're gonna keep going, keep chopping, keep turning, and we'll grab something else for you, okay? Okay. So we're gonna grab this here half a line. I'm gonna squeeze just a little bit of juice in there, not too much, not too acidic. so good. I'm already hungry. Yes. All right. So then we're going to turn this fire off. And we're just going to let this sit. And next we're going to get on to our dipping sauce. We're ready to do this dipping sauce. Very easy. Few ingredients. Kind of just dump it in there. Work it. And then we're going to make our dumplings. Okay. So this is going to be the finished product of your sauce. Very simple, very few ingredients. We have low sodium soy sauce. We're going in with two tablespoons. We have pure sesame oil, one teaspoon. We have premium honey, one tablespoon. A nice squeeze of a half of a lime. Some chopped garlic, ground ginger, and a little bit of lemongrass. Whisk it up, and there you have it. Here's the fun part. We're getting ready to make our little are you ready? <laughs> she looks stressed. I am so nervous. This 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 pastry paper thing looks so thin, and I am clearly clumsy. Well, you know, just put your feminine touch on it. So the key to this is <laughs> practice makes perfect. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna take some of your delicious filling, and the key is don't overfill it. I know you want to make it plump and hearty, but too much filling is what makes it a little too difficult. That's good. That is good. Put that right in the center. Gather it all up. See, see. A little squirrel. Gather it all up. Okay. And then we have a bowl over there with some warm water. We want you to take your fingertip and dip your fingertip in the warm water and make a barrier around the perimeter. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're going to fold it into a triangle. So bring one point to the other. Make sure you push everything inside. Yeah. You're doing good. Girl, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. This was way too much chicken. Cooking with confidence. This was a lot more chicken than I needed. I, I see that. Now. Well, we're learning. We're learning. Now, yep, press it down. Yep, get aggressive. <clears throat> press it down. Make sure you get those tips in those corners. See, that looks good. So that is the first step. Now we're going to do a little pinch and fold. Pinch and fold. Pinch and fold. Pinch. Fold. fold. Yeah! Pinch. Girl, you got this. Fold. You got this. Oh, she don't need me. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't, don't think you can, like, walk off or something. Because it ain't going to happen. 
This is, uh, I'm glad that I'm the only one that got to eat these. Uh, because I don't know how appetizing. No, I'm telling you. I'm that telling you. Look at that. Cold. And then take that one and fold it back. Just sit it right there. It don't look nothing like yours. Bob, listen. It looks good to me. It looks good to you. Either way, it's going to taste good, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, so now we're going to get our dumpling, wonton, pot sticker, whatever you want to call it, together. We have a skillet, we have some oil, it's nice and hot, and we're just going to sit them in face down. Please be careful. Me? Yes. Do they have to be like a space to a certain point? Or? Um, just not touching each other. Okay. Um, just not touching each other. There we go. And we're just gonna let that go. There we go. And we're just gonna let that go. It's gonna take a little while. If you really were willing to get so now that we have a nice brown on the bottom of our dumplings, we're going to flip them over and then we're going to add a steaming liquid. I'm all about flavor, 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 flavor. So instead of just adding water, I like to add a little bit of chicken stock. So Mika, just grab these tongs and you're gonna flip these wontons over. So turn them down and click. Oh, <laughs> okay, get fancy. Beautiful, Ooh, nice. That is nice. Mm -hmm. That is so nice. I am so hungry. And these smell so good. Don't be scared. Flipping has always been my issue. It, you have to do it with confidence. Fear will definitely make it kind of get a little wonky on you. This is the easy part, but we want to be careful. So we're going to turn this on low, and then we're going to pour that chicken stock in there, and then we're going to put the lid on, pour it on the side. Everybody, yeah, and we'll just stop. Put that lid on and let them steam and soften up the other side, and then we're ready to go. Done in the kitchen. This is our beautiful finished product that this lovely lady chef made here. You feel proud? I'm super proud. I am so ecstatic. This looks delicious. It looks really, really good. So we still have some of our drink left. And then we have our beautiful wontons. And now the only thing left is to really just dig in and then have a little chit chat. So we're gonna dig in. I've been waiting for this. Oh man. Mm. Oh, oh okay. well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was good. <laughs> well, before I smash all of this, I have a few questions for you. So, yes. you are a poet. Yes, I am. You are a performing poet. Yes. You go out into the world and you spread your creativity. You enlighten people. You open their minds. You entertain them. Mm -hmm. How'd you get there? Um... Honestly, I I got into poetry, writing poetry, because uh, I was a kid with a lot of thoughts and a mother with short patience. She was like, if you don't shut up, here's a journal, write out your feelings, because I'm tired of hearing them all. Um, and that led me into poetry and to writing, and then performing it just became my outlet, because I have a lot of stories that I want to share, and... I feel like people can relate to some of the things that I have gone through. So performing is it's it's my way of uh, telling the story of That's telling these stories and hoping that somebody can connect with them. That's wonderful. So I'm an entertainer. I love to entertain. And even through music, it's about telling the story. Even through food, it's about telling the story. It's about leaving your soul in whatever you do. That's art. We're artists, and I would love, love, love to share some of her art with you guys. Can you give us one of your poems? Oh, of 
course. Well, we're going to eat this food and drink these drinks first. And then she's going to come back and she's going to grace us with her art. Yes. I'm Mika J. Woods, the poet, the entertainer. Um, and I just want to share a piece with you. It is my title piece, which is called My Name Is. Okay? So, uh, I was the girl with the super black name. My parents cared nothing about what the society would say each day that my name is called for attendance. They had no clue of the amount of misguided attention that would be paid to something they donned on me all while having good intentions. Because you see, my mama, she thought it was pretty. And my daddy, he knew it had meaning. And so they gave it to me with such a joyous feeling. And my mama, boy, was she beaming all about her baby girl who was her mini me. And she was so blinded that she couldn't see that the name that she had placed upon me had created its own corporate ceiling. And not even understanding that I would spend my life unintentionally peeling back the layers of stereotypes that were placed on me at birth, not knowing the deep-seated racism that would unearth each time that my name was called first. And then, of course, it was mistakenly mispronounced, then misspelled, and then misread, all by a man who just looked me in the face and said Mackenzie or Swarovski or, or Goldenblatt. But my seven letters which paid homage to the city of Mecca stumbled you up so hard that you read what was really going through your head, which was, insert super black girl name, Jay Woods and allowed what you said was Shalamiqua or Shaniqua or Sacagawea, anything that was not my name. So for you who has been confused, let me spell it out for you again. My name is Shamika. And that is spelled S for the sands of the Saudi Arabian shore, H for the hands that poured A lot of love into my heart, M for the many slaves that carried this name before me, E for the effervescent sound I hear each time it's said perfectly, K for the Kaaba in which all prayers are directed to, A for the absolute shame that you should hear if you ever miss say my name. My name is Shamika. Mika for short, like the future queen of Zamunda. I am Mika J. Woods, but only if you know me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Girl! I want my name to be Mika now. <laughs> that was amazing, 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 and so powerful. This is what it's all about, folks supper club get something to eat something to drink and fall in love with art fall in love with yourself fall in love with your name who you are thank you so much for watching we hope to see you again and hopefully you find joy in your next cocktail party thanks for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next upload